your girl jelly beans and welcome back to another video now as you all know it's coming up to my favorite time of the year it's almost christmas time and i'm gonna be baking my famous christmas cake now i'm gonna be taking a few orders this year i'm gonna be doing only about 20 cakes additional so i was thinking that i'm not gonna put the recipe on the video but i've decided that i i'm gonna put the recipe in my description box and i want you guys to try the recipe and drop it in the comment section and tell me how it worked out for you now remember i'm only gonna be doing 20 additional cakes so if you're interested in ordering you can hit me up on instagram at jelly beans for you or you can send me a message on whatsapp i'll put my contact number right here guys please only message me about cakes thank you um don't forget also to like my video drop a comment in the comment section and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime i drop content all right so keep watching guys i'm gonna start now All right guys, I'm gonna be adding my butter now. After I've added the butter, I'm gonna mix the butter and the sugar together until. Cream the butter and the sugar. So now I'm gonna add the eggs and I'm gonna be using what, 10 eggs in total. Remember guys, when you're gonna crack your eggs, don't crack it over your mix because you never know when there's one bad egg in the lot so crack it in something before you put it in your mixture all right trust me i learned how to with that <laughs> Separate and into three parts and the fruit make sure you separate into two parts i'm using six cup of fruits remember guys do not add the fruit mixture to your butter if the mixture is hot all right that's a no-no so you can do it a few days before so it's six cups to my flour I sieved the flour already and it's supposed to be separated into three parts. So I'm adding one third of the flour. Right. 
remember I don't over mix you're gonna fold the flour in to your batter so you alternate it after you add the flour it's flour fruit I had it sitting for long I look at this yes instead of eggs kind of so flour fruit flour fruit and when you're doing this part you try not to over mix after i've added the fruit i'm going to add my browning guys i can't tell you how much browning to use it's about a quarter cup but it really depends on how you want your cake all right try not to mix it too much when you mix it too much you make the texture of the cake tough and let me not say tough but you get the point <laughs> Remember guys, everybody bakes differently. Um, I have always done my cakes this way and I've never had a problem with it. If you do something different, you can let me know. I only use e-browning because I find that the other browning makes your butter bitter. Try with a quarter cup of browning first and then if you find that you want it a little bit darker, you add more. I'm still yet to add my last flour and the final fruit mix. Adding fruit. Final flour. So the butter mix i'm gonna put it in the um the baking tins i have lined the tins already and greased it greased them i should say in the interest of time and stuff i'm gonna put a little bit of red label wine in there and a little bit of rum but honestly guys you don't really need to add that if you've had your fruit soaking or you soaking prior to and you steam them in the wine and the rum you don't need to add it to it because when it bakes you find that it just evaporates all right so if you want to know if the texture of your mix is good according to my mother the spoon supposed to stand up like that right if it leans over it too thin yeah so you see i'm not touching it i'm not touching it and that's it for the oven and I'm gonna bake them for two and a half to three hours at 275 degrees okay. and they're not cupcakes they're just cake and a muffin I'm gonna be pouring a quarter cup of white rum and a quarter cup of red label wine. I'm gonna mix them together. So this is it guys and then it's a spray bottle so after the cake is finished baking i'm gonna spray <laughs> remember guys i told you so after i finish baking i'm gonna spray uh so instead of pouring it over it where it's not evenly distributed i'm gonna spray it with a little red label wine and white rum A nice little mister so distributes it evenly on the cake there you go 
can't cut it now because we need it for corn. So, yeah. Muy bien, muy bien.